If you want to be a bottle girl or you want to work in the clubs in Las Vegas and you either missed auditions in January or maybe you went to auditions and things just didn't go your way, this video is going to be about what you can do next and what your options are if you still want to try to get that job. Hi, my name is Kara Roscoe and I've worked at the number one nightclub here in Las Vegas for the last... It'll be eight years and two months. That is crazy. If you're coming from my last video or you're already a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new to this video, then I'm happy to have you. I would really love if you could hit that thumbs up button right now, if you don't mind, and also consider subscribing to my channel. In the last video I posted, I talked about audition prep and what the actual audition would be like. So if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go and watch that video after you're done watching this video. And I'll make sure that I link it in the description so that it's really easy to find. But after I post that video, I had so many girls who were coming up to me mostly at work and letting me know that they either got a call back or that they got hired at a day club. And I was just really so happy and excited for them. And I'm also just really glad that my advice was helpful and potentially life-changing, which I know is a little dramatic to say, but these girls were just really sweet and so appreciative. And it would even make me start to tear up. I was just so happy for them. And I'm just really grateful because that is not what I expected at all when I made that video or when I posted that video. So I want to say thank you so much to all the girls who came up to me. It really meant so much more to me than you could ever imagine. And also big congratulations to all the girls who did in fact get a day club this year. Overall, this does make me think that I know what I'm talking about. So if you're trying to become a bottle girl, make sure that you hit subscribe so that you never miss one of my advice videos. All of my advice is based on my experience here in Las Vegas. And although I do think that it is generally true for most clubs in most cities, each club and city is going to have a unique way of doing things. So take what information you want and leave what you don't. But if you're already a bottle girl in another city, I encourage you to please like comment and agree or disagree with what I'm saying. So that way, if someone is looking for a job locally in your area or they're planning on moving, they might have some more specific and more helpful advice based off of the comments. So also go and check that out if you're looking for a bottle girl job, but you're not in Las Vegas. Hopefully someone is, you know, saying yay or nay to what I'm saying to help you out more. At the end of this video, I'm going to be giving out a couple of extra tips and reminders just so that you don't make any dumb little mistakes when you go to apply for a job or interview for a job. So make sure that you don't leave before you hear them. So I'm going to start with the bad news and then try to cheer you up with the good news. But I think it's important to be realistic. Right after auditions is the worst time to try to find a job at the club. Not just because they're already fully staffed and hired everyone they've need, but they've actually overhired. That way, if someone's not doing well in training or they're just not a match, they're able to let them go without being understaffed or having to rehire and retrain anyone. Don't worry, I have options for you. Whether you're looking for immediate employment or you just really feel like you need to be working in a club to get your foot in the door, I have some suggestions that I would call like industry adjacent jobs, but don't worry, we will get you taken care of. The number one question I get asked without a doubt is if you have to know someone to get a job. And I just absolutely hate this question. I hate that people say that because it is not true. And I hate it so much because I feel like girls get it in their head that they have to know someone and then it's their excuse to not even try. I didn't know anyone when I got hired. I got hired two weeks after I turned 21. Who did I know? No one. A lot of girls don't know anyone when they get hired. Of course, like any job in any city, in any industry, it's gonna be a lot easier to get hired if you do know someone. But if you don't, that's okay. Don't get discouraged. It's really not that big of a deal at all that you don't know the director or VP or anything like that. Okay, also, I can't get you a job. That's probably the second most popular question I get asked. Um, I don't know anyone. I can't put you in touch with anyone. And truthfully, I don't hear very often when other clubs are hiring. I've been at my job for so long and so have all of my friends and people know that we're really happy with our employment. So they're not, you know, soliciting jobs to us. I can give you tips. I can give you suggestions and I can tell you where to look, but you are going to have to do this groundwork by yourself and maybe be a little patient, but don't worry. It's super easy. So the pool season's already started. What do you do? First, I would make a list of every place you could ever fathom working at. And this should be a really long list, like day clubs, nightclubs, hotel pools, 
popular bars that you've heard about, maybe even strip clubs because they have cocktail waitresses that do bottle service. They're not strippers, they're just cocktail waitresses, but just anything you can think of. And every single week I would go and check their company website under their careers page or their jobs page and see if there's any listings posted. When clubs or bars are hiring outside of the audition season, they don't usually post on social media because they would get too many applicants for the like one to four spots they're trying to fill. But what they will do is post it on their website. And usually they'll tell staff like, hey, you know, we need a couple people. If you know anyone, let us know. But no matter what, every single person has to fill out the application, even if a manager knows that they're already hiring them, you know, for like background checks and HR, everybody has to fill out the application. So you can just sneak yours right in with theirs. So yeah, that is kind of like word of mouth. But if you're looking every single week on the website, you will also know that the application is open and you don't have to know someone like I don't have to recommend you if you're applying for the job because there's people I really didn't want to recommend who filled out the application and I didn't tell my manager or anything like that and they got hired. So you're just going to have to be diligent on checking up on all of those things. This is something people don't really know, but when you're applying for a job, if it's within the company's portfolio, there's a chance that they could place you at a different venue. So you could be applying for one job, think you're going to work there and they'll just be like, Oh, actually you're going to start over here. And if you want to work, that's where you're going to have to work. It's not really an option. And it's just really important that you stay open-minded to all of these venues. Cause I know one girl who was supposed to work at one Oak, which doesn't exist anymore. That club closed and she got put at my venue and good for her because that job doesn't exist anymore. So it's just going to be important that you're flexible and it's super rare that this happens, but it does happen. Hotel pools can also be another great option, especially if you don't have any experience, which I don't believe that you need experience to get hired as a bottle girl, but if you have the summer, you might as well go and get it. Those girls can make a lot of money. Plus the staffs are a lot smaller, which means less girls to split tips with. And there's so many hotel guests that don't want to party who are really rich and who will still spend money. There's also kind of like hybrid pools that are, you know, really loud and people drink a lot and the music's loud, like stadium swim at Circa or the Boulevard pool at the Cosmopolitan. And people will spend thousands of dollars on cabanas there instead of going to a day club because they don't want to leave their hotel. Sometimes like they get rewards or hotel and casino comps for going to those pools. So those are definitely a really great option. So I think the best job to have when you're trying to get a job at a club is actually within the club itself. There's a lot of positions that aren't just being a bottle girl that managers actually kind of have a hard time filling because everybody just wants to be a waitress. So like bartenders, coat check girls, cashiers, or even prezzo girls. And if you already work for the company, then you can either be transferred departments when a position opens up or when auditions come back around next January, your manager can write a letter of recommendation and then let the hiring managers at the pools know like, hey, she's been great all year. You should really consider her. So I think that is probably the easiest way. So bartenders are kind of self-explanatory. You're probably going to need experience. And if you work at a union property, you might even need a poor card. But what a lot of people don't know is that there is a shortage of cute girl bartenders in Las Vegas. So chances are, if it's just you and a guy and you're equally qualified and equally charismatic, you will definitely get hired as a bartender. I'm going to kind of lump cashiers and coat check girls in the same category, but basically cashiers are when GA comes through and they have to pay a cover. They take the money. Sometimes they can make tips though. And I've heard that the tips are pretty good. And that's going to be the same with the coat check girls. Obviously you take someone's coat in the winter and they also can take tips. So there's money to be made in those positions. And like I said, you're already at the club, you know, the managers, you know, the company, so it's easy to get a good reputation. So presentation girls or prezzo girls are the girls who assist us with presentations. I'll get more specific. So when we sell big bottles and we do the lights and confetti and the signs and the costumes, we hire extra girls to just do that. So the waitresses aren't being taken away from their guests or from their table any longer than they need to be. Cause when we're busy, it can be prezzo, 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 prezzo. So basically all night, they're just like carrying signs, changing costumes, doing the lights and confetti and getting the tables hyped up for the bottles that we're selling. They get paid hourly. It's pretty high. I think like $50 an hour. Um, they do come in later than us and they leave earlier. But what's really cool is you can do this at the pool and at nightclub. 
all year long. So like you can do a couple hours during the pool day and then go home, shower, change, whatever, and then come back to nightclub and do that. Now, some companies hire within their own company and some hire a third party, but that is a really fun, easy, cool job. And you then would probably get to know managers at a couple different venues, right? Because you would be at the day club and then at the nightclub. So that's definitely something to consider and look into. Another great place to get a job is at the restaurants that are owned by clubs. So before you go to Hakkasan nightclub, they encourage you to go to Hakkasan restaurant. And each club has this kind of sister restaurant that they help drive traffic to one another. So if you get a job there, not only are you gonna meet like directors and VPs and managers within that company, but sometimes they'll let you know like, hey, they're hiring, like you should apply. Sometimes they'll even like pluck you out of the masses and be like, you're super cute. Your personality is so great. You should definitely be working next Next door, let me talk to the manager and see what we can do. That totally happens. But I think what's most realistic and most important is that you can get a letter of recommendation from someone within your own company. So that way, the following year when you go to auditions, you have that and that's huge because no one cares if you're a hostess in some other city at some other major restaurant, but they will care if you're a hostess within your own company. That'll carry a lot more weight. Before I get to those little reminders and tips I was talking about, please, if you've already watched this far in the video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Please also leave any questions or comments you have. I will happily get back to them either directly or on the next video. My first reminder, and this is kind of serious, is that you will never, ever, ever be asked to do anything unethical to get this job. These are big companies the clubs are a part of, so it should be pretty straightforward. You apply, you interview, you background check, you drug test, and you get hired. That's it. If anyone ever makes you feel uncomfortable, then you need to report it to the company because I promise you they are not okay with it. Like I said, that is illegal. And if you have anything in writing, then make sure you get a lawyer because like I said, that is illegal legal. Those people are choosing to go off and offer you a job and be pieces of shit all on their own. They probably can't even get you a job. They're just plain scumbags. And I don't want that to deter you from getting a job. Like it's not unsafe or anything. Those people in particular are just scumbags. This is true about a lot of industries, but specifically the Las Vegas management network, like hotel managers, bar, restaurant, day club, nightclubs, things like that. It's really, really small. So chances are that your manager either has worked for the company you wanna work for previously, or they know someone who can get you hired or not hired there. So it's just gonna be important that you're being a really good employee, you have a good reputation, you say nice things about the company and that you have your shit together. Because if you're someone who's like always running late and you never do your hair and you never do your makeup, no one's gonna think you're miraculously gonna change just as soon as you get a day club or a nightclub job. And if you are that kind of messy girl, you might wanna reconsider this whole thing because there is an expectation that you're gonna to have to uphold appearance wise year round. Also, I think it's important to talk to your managers, especially if you're already working for the company, to let them know that you have ambitions of transferring out to the pool or to the club. That way they can help you. Closed mouths do not get club jobs. You definitely wanna let them know what you're interested in. Also, I think it just helps them notice a little bit more when you are being a good employee or when you look really cute. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to do that to just put your best foot forward and your best chance at getting that job just from the job you already currently have. I think it's also really important to be honest with yourself about what kind of shape you're in, especially if you already went to auditions because you can't just look your personal best. You have to look kind of competitively the best with all the other girls who are auditioning. So if you only like tried to work out for like a couple weeks before auditions, well, lucky you, you now have all year to get ready. And obviously that's a lot easier and there's a lot less pressure than kind of scrambling to get ready for auditions. And if you don't know what to look like for auditions, then you need to go onto Instagram and check out the club you wanna apply for page, right? There's all different kinds of girls in the industry. And I wanna be clear, you do not need to go out and get plastic surgery to get hired in the industry. That is not a thing. If you already wanted like a boob job or something like you do you, but you shouldn't get it specifically to get hired, but you do want to make sure that you are exercising and dieting the right way to be competitive when you're getting hired. And that's like not a judgment. Like I'm not personally in audition shape, but I do think it's important to really be honest with yourself about what you look like when you're applying for these jobs, because it is important. 
it's the most important thing actually, because it's a model marketing cocktail waitress. It's like the first part of the job. Uh, this is a really small tip. I think it's kind of unnecessary, but you can work on your social media. That does help. They do sometimes look at it when you audition or when you apply, especially if it's out of two people. Make sure that your pictures look pretty and hot and that you just look the way you would want to look if someone was trying to hire you. But I don't think that's important. You don't have to have a zillion followers or anything, but Social media is a part of most pool jobs and some nightclub jobs. So it, it might be something you want to work on this year if you have the time to work on it. I don't think it's necessary, but you can. It's definitely not going to hurt. My last tip is to go easy on yourself. And I have a couple examples to make you feel better, especially if you auditioned this year and you didn't get hired. I know that can be really discouraging and deflating and even sometimes mess with your self-confidence, but don't be discouraged. Sometimes it's just not your year. For example, one of the girls I was hired with got fired within her 90 day probation, didn't work all year, went to auditions the next year, and now she's the number one seller at one of the day clubs. So it's not that the industry wasn't right for her, it's just our club specifically wasn't right for her. I also know a set of identical twins who got callbacks at two different clubs. And they're very, very similar girls. So you would think like if one club was interested in their look or their personality, that they would be interested in both of them. And somehow that's just not true. So I just am telling you to be gentle with yourself. At the end of the day, this is just a job. And there are lots of other jobs and lots of other opportunities. Now, if you want to go for it, obviously I'm encouraging you to go for it. And I want to set you up for success, but it is not the end of the world and it'll come. It'll happen for you. Just don't worry. Okay, I think that's all I have for you guys. I think you can take it from here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond to them as soon as I can. And if you haven't already seen my past video or depending when you watch this, any future videos I make, make sure you go and check them out. You can follow me on social media at Curios on all platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, like literally everything. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful and best of luck trying to get that Las Vegas bottle girl job.